Well, good evening. Noz Wonky here. Let's take those off. This is my uh, sun viewing glasses. Well, this Wednesday, it's very exciting. There's a uh, another astronomical event coming up. It's the transit of Venus. So let me put those over there. Yes, this Wednesday, Venus will move across the face of the sun. And um, it's a very rare event because... Uh, Although there was one eight years ago, in 2004, there won't be another one until 2117. So you'll be dead then, probably. So I suggest, if you have the opportunity, get out there and have a look at it. It's actually not that good, I mean, it's, it's not spectacular or anything, but, you know, because there won't be another one in, in this uh, century, you better go and have a look. Today's Monday, so I've got two days left until the transit. I'm just uh, testing my equipment here. I've got uh, a little telescope. I'm using the projection method to look at the sun. And uh, that involves basically putting a white screen uh, at the back of the telescope. Now, uh, have a look here. There's my telescope. It points off at a right angle here. It uh, points down at a right angle and then it projects onto this white screen. Let me just adjust it. There you go, there's an image of the sun. There are some trees in the foreground there. I just uh, focus on the trees there. But it's focused on the sun. Now you can actually see some sunspots there. Have a look. Actually some spots. Those are real because they move with the sun. So on Wednesday there'll be another spot, a nice round little spot, and that will be the planet Venus. Now this setup I've got here is, as I said, the projection method. It's a very primitive uh, arrangement, really. This is just a uh, this is just a cardboard uh, wine cask that I've cut up. You need a, a, uh, a piece here to make sure this screen is in the shade. I've just put a piece of white paper in there and I've just used some uh, wire coat hangers to attach it to my telescope. This is the tightening mechanism, rubber band. It's very high tech. With this method, you don't even need a filter. But having said that, you shouldn't do it with uh, certain equipment. I wouldn't use expensive binoculars to do this uh, because uh, certain eyepieces can be damaged by the heat. To actually find the sun in the sky, of course you can't look through it to, uh, to find it, so what you do is you use the shadows. Adjust the position of the telescope until the shadow of the telescope on the ground is as small as possible. And uh, in this case, for example, I can also look at uh, the shadows, for example, there's a screw there, it's casting a shadow, and so there's sunlight falling on this part of the telescope. So I know that it's a little bit off, I adjust it until that shadow is as long as it can be, and there's another screw over here, similarly if I go too far, that one casts a shadow. So got to be somewhere in between. And there it is, there's the sun. Once you've got the sun in the uh, telescope, you can um, set up some little, you know, anything that casts a shadow that is repeatable. So I've got a, got a little white, uh, white thing down there, and I've got a little loop of wire here, held by blue tack, and it casts a shadow down there. Hang on. Cast a shadow down there. So see, if I adjust the position of the telescope, you can see that shadow moves. So I can use that shadow throughout the day to uh, find the sun if I, uh, if I lose it. The transit starts on Wednesday morning at about 8.15 in the morning. That's Eastern Australian time, viewed from Eastern Australia. And it continues for about Mm, six hours. It finishes at about uh, quarter to three, I think. 
so you've got uh, quite a bit of time to see it now of course uh, the weather forecast is for rain and cloud this Wednesday on the east coast of Australia so we're probably not going to see anything actually I'll put a link in the description to a page uh, that has a lot of information about the transit and uh, some uh, ways of viewing it I'll also put a link to the pictures that I took of the transit in 2004 which I took with this telescope actually using exactly the same method just projecting the image onto a white screen and, and then I just had a handheld camera and just took pictures of the screen and I came out pretty well well there you have it the transit oh it's over there transit.